Now let's show you some cool tricks we can do with dry ice. Okay, so right here I just have a soapy dish rag with like Dawn dish soap, okay? And as we go, I can start to string a, a soapy layer across the top of this. And it makes kind of a cool little crystal ball. Aww. And it starts trapping in that CO2, uh, which is kind of fun. And so this thing is pretty flexible, but it traps in the CO2. Uh, so that's really fun, really easy with just dish soap. What do you think is going to happen when that pops? Think. There's going to be a big explosion of the dish Where's it going to go? Uh, it's going to go sideways. Think about density. It's Where's that? It's all sitting in the flow. It's going to go sideways. That's pretty cool. That's a pretty good one. Someone want to pop it? With oh, I do. Boom. Right there. We'll try one more. Uh, kind of cool dry ice crystal Can I pop it with my pencil? Yes. Come on up. <laughs> hey, Adrian. Pop that sucker with your pencil. Let's see. Boom. Oh, very cool. Awesome. Very good. All right. So that's pretty fun. Just dry as crystal ball. Pretty easy to do. I want to show you another something that's kind of fun. Um, it's bubbling to the best. Oh, gonna we need this, this cap. Ooh, you know what? Let's put a let's put a glue on. Talk about glow sticks while we go. So we we, t we showed you you could do a crystal ball for Halloween. We showed you we could food color uh, this stuff. Uh, it's very dangerous to cap dry ice. It can make like a bomb, right? So we don't want to ever close it off because that gas continues to build up and has nowhere to go. Okay, and that's that's a pretty serious deal. Um, but if I cap it here, uh, but leave it a little small hole to go out of, it can come out of another tube, uh, which is kind of fun because then you could also put bubbles on the end of this tube, and uh, and you can make little <coughs> dry ice bubbles, right, like this. So that's kind of fun. Oh. That is cool. So all kinds of cool stuff you can do with dry ice. Um, look at that one. Oh. Oh. See if we can add another one to it. I think that cleaner we added to the table really helps us out. This is, oh, this is kind of so cool. cool. So all these dry ice balls. Are, yeah. Can I pop the other? Pop one of those. Nice. Boom. All they go. Uh, very good. So a lot of fun stuff you can do with dry ice. Any questions so far about dry ice in general? Uh, what's going on here is we're going to put a glow stick inside this dry ice, okay? Uh, to show you how eerie and cool it can look. But there is some great chemistry inside this glow stick, okay? So. A glow stick has an inner chamber that's made out of glass and a plastic bendy container on the outside. So in the outer container is what you put on cuts. It's called hydrogen peroxide, H2O2. How many people have heard of that? Very good. On the inside container is um, a chemical called phenyl oxalate ester, okay, and also some fluorescent dye. When those two chemicals mix, it excites the chemical, which means it always wants to come back down to its original state and it will release a little light as a byproduct. So we can see with the glow stick, when we snap it and listen, you can hear that glass chamber break, and then when we mix it together, it changes colors, okay, and releases that photo like chemical reaction. So when you put this down in here, it looks kind of eerie, and when Mr. Ryan turns the lights off, it's going to be another cool Halloween type effect oh, you can give cool. yourself. All having to do with chemistry. Okay, so okay. Uh, the last cool thing with dry ice that we're going to show you is what happens with the wonders of dish soap and dry ice put together. Okay, and if we squeeze in some dish soap here, all of a sudden we have, holy cow, you can a lot. <laughs> here, give me that. To, <laughs> look at this. What's cool? Wait, is that wet, Mr. Burton? It's kind of soapy bubbles. Put so your I hands would on some of those. Grab it and then squeeze. Grab it. some and then squeeze them. Squeeze those bubbles. They kind of turn into oh, turn into oh, dust right before your eyes. Squeeze some more soap in there. Yeah, more. Yeah, more. We're gonna throw thicken them up a little bit. Okay, so this is really hands-on science. If you want to touch these, and then or grab some from the dish. And what's cool is when you squeeze. Them, they just turn into that, that CO2. It's a good way to sanitize your hands as well for the H1N1, you know? Oh, it's going. Oh, oh. 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 It's very easy to do with just dish soap and dry ice from home. Oh. 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 Oh.
Yeah, just stick your Whoa. Oh, nice. That is cool. There's one. Oh. Oh. Isaac, do you want to try to do what you were going to do? Isaac, do you want to try holding one of these? Oh, okay, I that. Oh. Yep, so just kind of rub that around on your hands. See if, see if you can... Uh, try to stick your finger through that one first. See if that works. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. Try to hold this one. Show the class. Oh. Turn around. Now, how about this? Will you squish show the it. camera, too? Yeah. Put it right in front of that wow. lens, and then squish it with your hand and see what happens. It just turns into that instant dry ice. Who can tell me some unique things about dry ice? What's one, Joseph? Um, it doesn't melt. It does not melt. Very good. What does it do instead? What do you think? It goes straight to gas. It goes straight to gas. So whenever we go from solid to a gas, what do we call that? And that's what dry ice does, which is awesome. What do you think? Sublimation. Sublimation, yes. Sublimation is when we go straight from solid to gas. So as you can see, um, this substance is a frozen gas, negative 70 degrees Celsius, or about, I think, 110 degrees Fahrenheit, is what, uh, how cold this is. Anyone know what gas this is? What do you think? Nitrogen. Not quite. Starts with the C, ends with an O2. CO2, carbon dioxide. Same stuff you find in the fire extinguishers. Uh, um, this is frozen. Gas. Okay, so if we left it, this uh, on the table like that and put an ice cube next to it, came back in an hour, the difference would be this will have nothing left and this will have a puddle of water. Uh, we don't have a liquid state with this. Uh, it's kind of cool because it's almost like air hockey as well. That layer of, of CO2 gas really just kind of can float back and forth like that. Kind of fun. Um, so, um, in order to make it sublime quicker, we can put it in warm water. And uh, if you put it in cold water, it won't go as quick, but it starts bubbling, right? So we can get a, a little chunk in there and it starts bubbling. Cool. And uh, subliming quicker. So if you uh, are at a Halloween party and have a, a bowl of punch and want to give it an effect, drop a, because will CO2 harm us on that level? No. No. So drop it in some punch and get a nice little effect. And let's talk about this real quick. Um, is this a physical or chemical reaction? Chemical? What do you think? Are we making any new substances here? No. If the answer is no, we aren't making any new substances, even though we see those bubbles and it seems like chemicals are mixing and combining, this is not a chemical reaction. This is a phase change. So it is uh, a physical reaction. Uh, let's see. So, this is cool. This is okay. You guys have all seen this. Well, let's do a few new things. With I have a question for you, though, as he gets that. If you can see it, it's coming, and it's sinking, and then it's hitting the table and all spreading across. Nice. Can someone talk to me why you think it's essentially coming out and sinking rather than coming up into the air? Because it's more dense than oxygen. Awesome. So it's more dense than air. Okay? So CO2 is more dense than air. So if you see it, it's not coming up into the rest of the room, but it's sinking until it hits something. Um, where can you buy dry ice? You can buy it at uh, a supermarket. So, um, but you do need a, an adult to go with you uh, and be responsible about it. They'll even ask you for an ID to make sure you're over 18, I think it is. Um, so, uh, but you can get it at any, uh, any store. Yep. Um, is any of this stuff coming out water? Or is it all carbon dioxide? Let's take a vote. Who thinks uh, some of that is also water? Anybody? Who thinks it's all carbon dioxide? Okay. Um, well, I'm going to dye the water green. That's kind of cool for Halloween as well. Um, but this kind of also shows us that all that water is just staying there. All that we have coming out of there is the gas that uh, is, uh, here's another density thing. Is the gas denser or less dense than the water? We should be able to see that too. Everything sorts on densities. What do you think? It's uh, less dense. Less dense than the water, so it comes above the water, but then more dense in the air, so it falls down. You'll never see dry ice going up like this.